What's going on? This blues and happy Valentine's Day to all of you. Hey, even if it ain't Valentine's Day, you gotta love yourself. You gotta love yourself like maybe your name is Tanae and this is your show. And you wake up one day knowing you're gonna change the world from one little girl to the next little girl growing up to a grown woman, the Tanae show. Be like the Today Show, you tuning in. Channel 9, it doesn't matter if it's Channel 9 or CNN, you watching. You watching for all the stars popping off on this show right here. When you see someone like me standing up here sincere, BL to the U to the Z, Mr. Blues, that's me, the Tanae Show, all day. You better make sure you tune in and say, hey, I love myself, strong, every day. Tanae Show, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> What's up, this is Shy, and you're on the Tanae Show. You better know it. What's going on, everybody? Tanae here with the Tanae Show, and I am standing here next to some fine gentlemen. Shy, what's going on, guys? What's, what's happening? You just maintaining? Y'all looking good today. Just rocked the stage at Red at 28. Now, I love you guys. I'm not just saying that because you're here, but I mean, just the hits that you produce. How, like, back then I know music was kind of different. Um, I think these days we don't have too much substance. We're talking about some different things. How was the, the music then to now in you all's eyes? Well, just musically, in terms of just what it meant to be an artist back then was based on trying to be a one of one. Period. And so anything you had to do in terms of melodically, have your signature, you know, my arms are open wide. That was KC, you know, that nobody could do that but K. Right. You know, everybody had their own thing. You know, he took that, you know, um, Shy had our own style, Boys Men had own, Silk had their own stuff. So people were trying to be kind of original and unique. And we had more than two note melodies back in the days. <laughs> um, but so that was the thing. We were trying to really set ourselves apart even though we were all still like a family. Everybody pretty much got along back in those days. Um, but you hear Jeremiah right now with a new song out, man. He got If I Ever, like, an excerpt of it in there. So the sampling is bringing some of that, you know, old school back and keeping it rotating, so. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that it's, it's four different men, so you have to deal with four different personalities and four different lifestyles. Is it hard to get along with each other? How was it? Or how is it now? Nah, we are friends. We've been together for a while. So it's just like family. You know, we love doing music together. We all artists, true artists. So we enjoy it. We love it. Right. Now, you all are men of many talents. Um, from what I heard, you was in a special movie that I think a lot of us um, love. Tell us what that was. Lean on Me, the Joe Clark story, Eastside High School. Um, I had the pleasure of working with Morgan Freeman, um, the five guys in the bathroom singing the school alma mater. It was a pleasure. I mean, it was a wonderful experience, you know what I mean? Uh, we got a, a, a chance to actually endure and, you know, meet different different people. It was a, it's a very special. I love that movie. Can you give us a little snippet of, of what you did in that movie? <laughs> there is side, by the side will stand in all ways. Praise the name. Oh, my gosh. See, oh, and the crazy thing about it is you all sound the same. It's not like, oh, well, you know, they can't sing no more. Or, I mean, how do y'all kind of <clears throat> keep that in tune? Like, what's, what's going on? I need to know the secrets. Well, we've been doing these same songs for like 20-something years. So I can be walking out my sleep and do these particular songs. <laughs> Muscle memory, a little Hennessy. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. And love for what you do. Right. Do you all have any um, groups out these days or anybody that you all are kind of looking at that's saying, you know what, they kind of remind me of us or they kind of are taking over the game? Anybody that you kind of look at like? There's a young group called, the acronym is HIM. I think it's called History in the Making. They're pretty okay. good. Yeah, I like them. Nice okay. sound. Keep up the good work, guys. Okay. Now, you all had a hit song, and I mean, to this day, when that song drops, everybody goes crazy i want to hear you all sing it right here right now live for me i don't want to hear no record right here, i want right to hear here. you right here right now I'm demanding, huh? I'm I, like demanding. That. I like that i need to hear it so i'm gonna count down okay on three one two three and if i ever fall in love again We'll be sure that the lady is a friend. If I ever fall in love 
so true. I will be sure that the lady's just like you. Y'all, y'all gonna have to uh, carry me out because good lord, I love a man that can sing, and I mean, I got four or five men up here that can sing. So, what's next for you guys? Are you still kind of touring? Are you kind of doing show by show? Are you still, what are, you, are you all kind of still together? Or, yeah, we're still touring. We got new music coming out soon, so check for that. And just looking to get forward, uh, get, get out with the fans again, as usual. Like we do. Okay. Any best advice that you all have received that might be a, a group coming up or somebody that wants to be a singer, rapper, any good advice that you can give them? Yeah. When you listen to Marvin Gaye, he used to sing about stuff that was really happening in his real life. And the, the, the average common man, the certain situations, because he was a good writer and a good singer, they can relate to those moments. I would encourage artists to come from their own true space and write their music, as opposed to trying to create a cookie cutter to do what Drake is doing or somebody else is doing. And remember this, information is physical. Information is physical. What you come up with creatively, if you're in tune with it and you got high conviction, you can move people with it. And that's the object of the game. You know, forget the hook in the song, that's going to move somebody if it's dope. But your whole essence in the verses, if you're feeling it like that, you can move people with the lyrics and the, and the feel that you put behind it. So keep that authentic. Stop trying to carbon copy so much that you lose the soul of what you're doing. Right. And before we get out of here, I always kind of like the, the real of everything I kind of get. I don't like the sugarcoat anything. Kind of being a, a... You know what? That ain't even what I was going to say. But you know what? Thank you. I appreciate that. But no, <laughs> but no, I was going to say, we've seen um, Straight out of Compton. Was there any situations like that coming up where you guys kind of got... Uh, you know, kind of screwed over or any situation where it was kind of like advice to people to watch out for this or watch out for that. What's the, what's the real of being in this industry? Just remember that, you know, everybody wants to get in this industry because they think they got talent and that's dope, but it is a music business. And a lot of people want to get in the game. The, the less loose parts you have, you, whether, whether it's a, a freaking car or any other kind of machine or you, the less loose part. So the more you can control your destiny in terms of knowledge behind what the hell the music industry is all about, and the less you got to depend on other people and pay them money to do things that if you read up on it or whatever you can find yourself, the more successful you will probably be because you have a better grasp of the fundamentals and you know when somebody's bullshitting you, you'll know and understand and get a good feel for what's fair and equitable, and you can move forward as an artist, a whole artist. So that's my advice. Well, I got you. Any last words, any advice, anything y'all want to say to any fans, any social media? What G said. <laughs> so you just go co-sign. 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 And just look us up, you know, follow Shy, you know what I mean? We got some new, some great music coming out, you know what I mean? Look us up. It's going to be hot. Well, guys, you have heard it here, Shy. I love them. Continue to follow them because they are amazing and they never went anywhere. So make sure you support because we need it. Yeah, so this next drink, a lot of people accused us of helping to make babies off of this one. <laughs> Alimony and patrimony and all that other money, just don't bring it this way. Right. But um, we have a good time, right? We love lyrics. We like love. Just like I say, you know, I just put a word out on Valentine's Day. Fellas, yo, if you're not really. Dealing with your lady in the right way, you know, somebody might be in the wings, like a comfortable type, you know what I mean? You know, you don't want that. <laughs> Damn. Because then they really will be friends first, those two, and then they will become lovers and true. Uh, that anger right there means it all. So, anyway, if you know these words, you belong to nostalgia, all that good stuff. Oh, 
Sometimes I feel as like if I don't deserve you. So it's every moment that we share. And if I ever fall in love again, I will be sure that the lady is a friend. I ever fall in love so true. I will be sure that the lady is just like you. Oh, we love y'all so much, man. We love y'all so much, man. Thank you. Have a great evening.